It suggested that the timing of the attacks in Volgograd is linked to the upcoming Winter Olympic Games in Sochi, both cities in the same region. But as you can see from the map, the distance between them more than 650 kilometers. Let's go live now to Sochi to our correspondent, Tabang Matse, who is standing by there. So, Tabang, uh, tell us, how is the news of this new attack in Volgograd being received in the spot where the Winter Olympics is soon to be held? Well, the news have been received with shock, no doubt, and condolences going out to the families of those who have lost loved ones in Volgograd. Now, of course, security has been beefed up already here in the city that's going to host the Winter Olympics. In, in, in fact, the Olympic Committee has spent a lot of money in the latest security technology, making sure that everyone is protected while they're here for the Winter Games. I myself went to one of the uh, transport hubs, the Adler Station, which will see 50 15,000 people a day, an hour rather, uh, going through its doors. And uh, I must say the security checks were easy to go through and uh, no one felt that they were being imposed by all the security checks. So earlier on, we spoke to a former member of the Alpha uh, Anti-Terror Security Unit and here's what he had to say. All the attacks in Volgograd are part of the same chain. The terrorists are trying to incite fear ahead of the Winter Olympics so that people become scared to go to Sochi. No wonder they've chosen the holiday season for this, to make it even more painful for the people and to draw plenty of world attention. But I believe this won't have any effect on the Olympics, and the people who are planning to come will still do so. They can be sure of their safety, because almost $2 billion have been allocated to security measures. That's even more than the sum for the London Olympics. Right, I'm, uh, uh, in terms of the plan for the Olympics, we know that the construction workers who've been brought out here to Sochi will be sent back by the end of December. Uh, there'll be limited vehicle uh, uh, allowance on the roads in terms, uh, uh, in fact, uh, if you don't have an access pass to be on the roads, you will not be allowed to be there. In terms of uh, what the policy plan for the Olympics, they say that they have about 23 uh, police officers who'll be on standby for the Olympics. They'll have 10,000 military troops as well as 23,000 Ministry of Emergency troops who will be deployed here in Sochi come the Olympics. The Olympic Committee has already said that uh, they trust that Russia will provide a safe haven come the Winter Olympics in February. So we're all hoping that uh, this, uh, what's happening in Volgograd, uh, officials will be looking out to see how they can, uh, if they want to extend some of those numbers to more. Matt. Artiz Tabang Matse, live for us in Sochi. Thank you very much for that update from there.